Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's nice to be sewing with you today. Behind me today I have a red, white, and blue quilt that I made a while back. It has a square in the middle. I'll show you how to do that. And then adding the squares to the sashing with the star points is pretty simple. But I'm going to take you through how to do it so you can make a quilt using your scraps. Let's get started. For each block in this red, white, and blue quilt, I'm using seven different blue strips that are 11 inches long. If you have strips that are 11 inches long, two inches wide, your block will be 11 by 11. You could give yourself a little extra when you're cutting the strips, make them a little bit longer so that they don't um, just shift as you're sewing all these strips together. Uh, you could also, later on in the video, I put some longer strips together and just trimmed them. So I'm going to put all of my strips together and when I'm done, I should have a block that's 11 by 11. And in the quilt that I showed at the beginning of the video, I used random sized strips. They were different widths, but I tried I trimmed them after getting them all together to 11 inch blocks. And here I'm going to sew some more strips together and for my little sample that I'm working on today I'm just making four of these 11 inch blocks. I have my four sample blocks ready now and I cut strips that were two inches wide and 11 inches long to go around all of my blocks. I would um, recommend that you just use what you have and if your block is nine inches square, your strips will be nine inches. And since mine are 11, I'm using 11 inch long strips and just make a little plan every block needs a strip to surround it and then when I get to the outside of my quilt I need to add an extra strip and you'll see why we need that a little later on and then in each of the corners I used a two inch square in the sample quilt that I showed you at the beginning the dimensions of the strips are three inches and the squares are three inches so things can change and you can just use the size that you like so on each end of my white strips, I will be placing triangles. So every time a white strip touches a red square, it needs two triangles to make the star points. I cut some triangles, different sizes, and if my little squares are two inches in the middle there, I kind of gauge a two and a half inch square. If I cut that in half, that should give me a triangle that is big enough for my um, for the corners there. But my triangles are all different sizes and I like the random sizes. It, it's the way I like to do it. So here I'm showing you that there's the red square and my triangles are here and I need to place a triangle on each side of that strip and then I'll trim. So I'll be adding triangles, making sure that the, it covers that white triangle area there. And that one didn't, drat. <laughs> so I need to take it out and start again. Here we go, let's try again. Um, 
just make sure if there's a little bit of triangle hanging off the edge if there's a little red triangle hanging off the edge typically when you fold it over and get it right sides out it will cover that area that you want to cover and then I just turn it over and trim the excess off and you could trim that background the white but I'm not doing that today and I'm not walking over to the ironing board very often during this video either you could be pressing as you go but today I'm just using finger pressing and moving ahead when I got a few done I walked over to the ironing board and press it open trim off the excess and then you'll have your two star points Okay, I showed you how to surround each of the red squares with star points, but this shows that actually each of those white strips need star points on each end because each end touches a star. So I will have to go around now and add star points to the other end of all of my white strips. And I think typically if I were doing this without demonstrating, I would <clears throat> put the star points on each end as I went along. But um, for this video, I just showed, I surrounded one red square. Now I'm going back and adding star points to the other ends of my white strips so that each of those stars will have eight points. So depending on how big your quilt is, everyone will have a different amount of stars and strips and blocks. And when you get to the outside of your quilt, you're going to need a white square. And mine is two inches because my strips are two inches. And I will be adding star points to my square just on one side to go along with that star that's on the outside of my quilt. This is a very flexible project. You can make your quilt any size. Once you have all the pieces ready to go and laid out, all you need to do is start sewing those bars and squares together in rows and then you'll put your rows together. So I hope this video inspires you to pull out some scraps and to make a quilt. Thanks for sewing with me today and I'll see you next time.